Water bottles, we use them on every ride. We rely heavily on the solutions we put inside them. Whether your collection is small or large, you need to know that the bottle is not contaminating the liquids you have inside them. After all, what's the point of having a BPA-free polypropylene water bottle collection if your water bottle is beginning to look like this? See those black dots? That's mould developing. And it happens with every water bottle. So, give your water bottles a thorough clean first. And make sure you get rid of those mould spots. And the best way to avoid mould developing again is to have them airing out until you use them again. This little rack airs your bottles out well, it gives you easy access to your bottles and it looks good too. This is what it looks like. This one holds 14 water bottles, but you can make one to hold as many bottles as you like. It's easy to make and of course super cheap. Here's how to do it. Grab yourself a length of dowel. This one is 16 millimeters in diameter. And a piece of wood like this. This one's 18 millimeters thick and 14 centimeters wide. Now measure from the end and come in five centimeters from the end of the piece of wood, but two and a half centimeters or three centimeters from the long edge of the wood and make a mark on both sides and do the same on the opposite edge as well. Slide down to the other end of the piece of wood and do exactly the same markings on that end. Now get a nice straight edge and join the marks that you've made all the way along like that. So you have two lines. A good distance between each water bottle is 10 centimeters. So starting at the end mark, measure 10 centimeters for each water bottle that you have and make a mark. The length of each dowel that you'll mark and cut is 22 centimeters. Cut the desired number of dowels that you want and then sand the end, one end of each dowel. Makes it nice and smooth at the top edge. Now to drill the holes in the piece of wood for the dowels. Don't drill all the way down. Leave about five millimeters on the bottom. You can do this by marking with sticky tape, as you can see. So you know when the drill bit's gone far enough. Make sure your drill bit you're using is one to two millimeters smaller than the dowel diameter. Here I'm using a 14 millimeter spade bit for my 16 millimeter diameter dowel. Now go ahead and drill the marks for each water bottle. As you can see, you don't drill all the way through. Leave that five millimeter base in each hole. By using a spade bit, it leaves a little pilot hole underneath each hole. That's good because we're gonna put a screw in there in each hole. So that's it for the drilling. As you can see, 14 holes for 14 water bottles. If you want longer or wider to make three rows, then you can do so. Now we'll just chop the excess wood off the other end. Remember it's five centimeters from the last water bottle hole drilled. Remembering that the hole is slightly smaller than the dowel diameter. That ensures that the dowel will fit nice and tightly inside the hole. Here I'm using the end of a file, which just so happens to be a little bit bigger than the hole. There, nice snug tight fit. And now just drill out a little bit for the screw head to fit in so that it sinks below the level of the wood. There so that it doesn't scratch the surface that you're putting the water bottle stand on. You don't have to do this, but I'm just rounding the edges with a file. It certainly makes it look nicer. You can also use a razor blade 
or a paint stripping tool. Does the same thing. This puts a nice little round edge on it. And don't forget to do the ends as well. And a bit of the sand to get rid of the pen or pencil marks we made on the wood and to smooth the look as well. And a little bit of wood glue. You don't have to do this because they're not holding a great weight. A water bottle doesn't weigh much. But if you glue them all in quick enough, you can straighten them all up so they look all nice and even and they won't move. And now we put in the countersunk screws. And structurally, that's it. I'm putting a little bit of stain on the wood to bring out the wood grain. You can lacquer it if you want, or you can even paint it. And that's it. No excuses now for not having nice, clean bidons. Thank you.